our tale of the tape. Jeremy Puglia, 26 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, a record of 6 and 1, weighed in at 186. His opponent, Marcus Chin, 6 years older at 32, also has a 4 inch height advantage, 6 feet 2 inches tall, an overall record of 5 and 9, and weighed in also at 186 pounds. Both Eric Odd and Dave Della Rocca, alongside me, Eric Dame. The two of you think we're going to see fireworks here tonight. But before we can get to the fireworks for our main event middleweight title fight, we've got to get to our introductions. Here with the final introductions of the night, bringing out their Steve Peacock. From the space at Westbury, New York, and streaming live around the world on Pluto TV, Tiger Life Energy presents Triton Fight 6. This event is being sponsored by Tiger Life. Energy never tasted so good. Buy No Better Foods. Visit NoFoods.com and use promo code TRITON25 to save 25% on your next order. Buy Footlux of Long Island Sports Medicine that helps improve athletic performance and sponsored by Beyond Average as well as by Cannes Sports Bar of Westbury. Triton Fight's official after party. And now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to behold the highest heights of excellence in competitive mixed martial arts. The main event, our Triton middleweight title fight. First up, we have a 32-year-old who stands at six foot two and weighs 186 pounds. He has a 5-0 record and represents Apprentice MMA and hails from Rahway, New Jersey. Out of the blue corner, Marcus Zenmaster Chin. His opponent is a 26-year-old who stands at 5'10 and weighs 186 pounds. He has a 6-1 record. He represents no limit kickboxing slash vamos out of the red corner, Jeremy Puglia! Jeremy Puglia with a clear crowd support. All right, gentlemen, we are in the main event. Protect yourself at all time, obey my at all time. Any questions? Good luck to both of you. Jeremy Puglia now looking to once again defend his Triton Fights middleweight belt here at Triton Fight 6 at the sold out space at Westbury, Long Island. I'm Eric Dame alongside Dave Della Rocca, Triton Fights veteran lightweight and former Triton Fights middleweight champion Eric Ott here to see this main event begin. Puglia, the defending champion, Marcus Chin looking to dethrone the champ. We'll see what happens. Jeremy's taken two steps back so far. I think this is the first two steps back I've ever seen him take. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to agree, but I, I noticed he's, off the bat, he's much more measured in his stand-up right now, which is a good thing to see out of Jeremy. Well, and as Eric said, a little bit of a slow starter typically. Takes getting hit a couple of times for him to unleash the beast, as it were. And Marcus is a guy who's very comfortable on his feet. He sort of moves forward, picks, he just stays, stands there to southpaw. Using the, using the stomach of Puglia as a punching bag right there. So if he needs to get woken up, Eric, that might have done it. This is Jeremy's world right here. This is where Jeremy lives in the clinch. Someone's bleeding. Looks like Marcus. Oh, it's Marcus bleeding. out of the, uh, the bridge uh, of his nose, it looks like right there. I wonder if they had like a, an accidental head clash when they, were, when they were tied up. I don't think that was it. FJ was landing some pretty big uppercuts when they clinched up there. It oh, I didn't even see from, the from my angle. Yeah. Well, now the knees coming up to the side from Chin, trying to do as much damage as he can while up against the cage. Using the left knee to get in there and then turning around the hips, to trying to use knee and then block with the knee. Now Puglia looking like he might go for that single leg. And whoa, look at Chin trying to get that triangle set up for getting down there, did not work. Big Puglia punches. landing big shots from the top. Blood all over the upper body of Marcus Chin right now. now Jeremy Puglia wants to defend his belt. He's off to a good start here. Now, Chin has very good jiu-jitsu. He had me in a couple of submission attempts when I fought against him, and he does know what to do from every position. Well, right here, the only thing that he can do is take these shots and try to find a way to get out. Now he's been flattened out. Oh, Puglia. Oh. 
referee calls a stop to the fight. Puglia was not going to stop, and Chin was not going to be able to answer. The referee has decided blood coming out from the left eye as well as the bridge of the nose. Marcus Chin battered and now beaten. Jeremy Puglia maintains that middleweight title, Eric Gott. I know you and Dave have trained with him. You guys were pulling for him. I didn't really care either way, but an impressive performance from him. I come away from it with. Yeah, he definitely put an exclamation point on the end of that fight. As you see here in the replay, he landed the big shots. You see Marcus Chin trying to just get away. That's all he can do at that point. Once the hooks are in and he's flattened out, and there's the slow-mo of the screams. I mean, the last shot he landed ran to the armpit, but it was still making the whole upper body shake. So that happens. Marcus Chin you know, didn't, didn't last all that long against Ryan Jeremy Puglia, but Jeremy Puglia, you know, he's finished quite a few people in his career. He's now 7-1 and one and maintains the Triton Fights middleweight title belt. The champ continues. Long live the champ. The official results, well, it shouldn't take too long to get those, and they've got them now to our ring announcer, Steve Peacock. Let's send it to him for the announcement of tonight's main event final. And the winner of this Triton middleweight title fight by TKO two minutes into round one came out of the red corner, Jeremy Puglia! The very stout Jeremy Puglia, they put that belt around his tree trunk like waist and Dave Della Rock is in the cage. He's going to talk to the man who is still Triton's middleweight champion here in just a second after he says thank you to a few people. Uh, Steve, and still, like Jeremy F.J. Puglia. Straight ahead, look at this crowd you got. What's up, champ? Uh, nothing, man. Just another day. Best I've ever seen you look. I've had the privilege of calling a bunch of your fights and interviewing you. That is the best I've ever seen you look. Yeah, I know. I wanted this to be my last uh, amateur fight before I go pro, so I really wanted to put on a best performance. Mission accomplished, man. It's been a pleasure to be able to watch you fight and call your fights. Address this crowd. <laughs> oh, I love all you guys, man. Appreciate it every time you guys come out. It means the world. It gets me going. You have no idea. FJ, congratulations. I look forward to seeing you going pro. I just want to say thanks to all my sponsors. You know, I have like 13. I can't even remember everyone right now. I know John from the Idiots here. I know Tiger Life. If I forgot, Rory, I saw you. I uh, thank everyone. I really appreciate it for everyone coming. It means the world. Your champ, FJ Puglia, going pro. 